Round 18 of the FIM Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of the Netherlands at Assen. In MX2 race one, it was Paul Jonas with a Fox hole shot, the ninth of the season for him. And it was his teammate, Jorge Prado, alongside him, though. Just closely behind Thomas Covington and Yago Gietz. Conrad Muse also made a good start on the 426. He was duking it out with his teammate. Thomas Covington, as they battled over third and fourth, as Prado found a way past his teammate. He stayed there for two laps, but Jonas bounced right back. Jeremy Siwa was losing the fight in terms of the championship chase. He got caught and passed by Calvin Valandran. That was for sixth, as Conrad Muse fell from third whilst chasing down the two leaders, Jonas and Prado. And it was those two Red Bull KTMs that took the win in race one. Covington was third, Valandran fourth, Siwa was fifth. MX GP, race one. Tony Cairoli from the outside of the gate taking a chance, but it was a 15th Fox hole shot for the eight time world champ. He just needed to finish 16th in race one to be crowned world champion for a ninth time. Tim Geiser was second, Fevre was third. Cairoli's teammate, Hurlings, was working his way through the field. He made light work of both the Monster Energy Yamahas. Soon he was into third, and then second with that pass on Tim Geiser. He then went after Kai Rowley, and by lap 10, 11, the two Red Bull KTMs were side by side. Hurlings went through, but it only lasted for two corners because Hurlings didn't get good drive coming out of the final turn. Kai Rowley was back in front. The fans were on their feet, cheering what was a monumental race. A couple of corners later, and once again, Hurlings was back in front at the expense of a mistake from Kai Rowley. Nervous faces down there in KTM corner. Geiser crashed out spectacularly of third on his HRC Honda, but it was a race win for Jeffrey Hurlings, a ninth title for Kai Rowley, who came home in second. Max Anstey came home third with a pass at the last corner on Roman Fevre. MX2, race two. This time it was Conrad Muse with his second Fox hole shot of the season. Prado, though, was never too far away. And after five laps, the Red Bull KTM rider found his way past the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna rider. In the background, lurking dangerously, was the number 10 of Calvin Volandrin. He found his way past Julian Lieber. As Hunter Lawrence was carving his way through the field, having a much better race in moto number two. Jeremy Sewer got his way into second with that pass on Conrad Muse, and he started to chase down Jorge Prado. Despite getting close on a number of occasions, the final lap was a drag race between the two, but it was Prado who crossed the line for his fourth race win of the season and the overall Grand Prix victory, his third in 2017 in his rookie season. Jeremy Siwa came home in second. Thomas Kier Olsen was third. Paul Jonas came home seventh. And what does that mean in terms of the overalls? Well, Prado, you win it. Jonas second, Siwa third. And the championship will go to the final round. 41 points now separate Jonas and Siwa as we head to France. Olsen in third has secured third overall in the MX2 title race. He is 52 points clear of the injured Benoit Pacherel with 50 points left on the table. But what a great weekend for the Red Bull KTM teenager. Jorge Prado taking his third Grand Prix victory of the season. The wait goes on, though, for Paul Jonas. Just one more round to go. I'm pretty happy. Um, one uh, race left, so let's try to do it again next weekend. Uh, we gave everything here. Uh, I won Lommel and these two sun races, so I'm really proud of me. So, what to say? Thank you to everyone who's uh, supporting me, and see you next weekend. MXGP race two. This time it was Max Nagel from the outside on the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna who grabbed his third Fox hole shot of the year. But watch the carnage going into turn two. Kohenberg, Searle, Koldenhoff all crashed out. Koldenhoff's fight ended up in the stands. He picked himself up to come home in 15th. 
but it was Nagel who led. He was pressurised in the early stages from the Yamahas of Van Horbeek and Fevre, but Hurlings once again made light work of both Fevre and Van Horbeek. He made that move around the Belgian to go second, and by lap two, he was past Nagel right in front of the grandstands to take over the lead. Nagel then rode an absolute blinder of a moto. He stayed in second, soaked up the pressure from Fevre and Cairoli. Cairoli got himself into third, closed down on the German, on his KTM. There's his teammate, Anstey, also started to carve his way through the field. Cairoli then fell with two laps to go, handing third back to the Monster Energy Yamaha of Roman Fevre. And Max Anstey on the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna, who came home fourth ahead of Van Horbeek and Cairoli in sixth. But it was a rapturous reception for Geoffrey Hurlings as he crossed the line for the 11th win of the season, his fifth Grand Prix win of 2017 as well. Fevre was second, his second visit to the podium in three Grand Prix. Anstey was third. Cairoli, now world champion, it's official, confirmed, of course, after moto number one. But a great day for the Red Bull KTM of Jeffrey Hurlings, the Monster Energy Yamaha of Roman Fevre, and the Rockstar Energy Hasfana of Max Anstey. But nine titles now in the bag for Tony Cairoli. Five wins this season, man. You know, we had a tough start, but uh, we came back strong. I think I even secured myself with a second position in the World Championship. So who thought that after four, four rounds when I was like a 15? So we still came back pretty good. and. Uh...